This is Frank Johnston coming from Herndon, Virginia. We are a crow's flight four miles. Wrigley, get out of the way there. Four miles from the Dulles Airport, International Airport. We've had a lot of snow. Many people think when you live in a residential area, hunting is off limits. I'm here to teach folks that love to hunt. There's no reason you need to travel to the woods and faraway country to get yourself a good goose. So, in a brief short time, I'm going to show you certain elements of successful residential goose hunting in the Herndon, Virginia area. Stay with me now. But I do want to say there's one rule in residential hunting that must be foremost on your mind. Now, it's not like you're out in the country, you're close by, you've got loved ones, you've got pets, you've got your neighbors. You like them or not, you don't want to kill them. So that's my number one rule in residential hunting. I wrote it down here so you know what it, you read that with me, don't shoot your neighbor. It's going to cause problems for you and your neighbor, likely medical issues, things like that. Anyway, don't shoot your neighbor. Don't do it. Another thing I like to say in the same uh, <laughs> venue of rules is if you do shoot your neighbor by accident, don't get caught. This is important too. Often hunting in residential areas is frowned upon by the county, the state, local law enforcement, your neighbors, your wife, your friends, Ed birds, whatever. No one likes it. Anyway, you got to go covert. That's why I carry this with me so I can blend in at a moment's notice. Watch. Here I am. Here I'm not. See, I've blended in. That's the first rule you want to blend in. Okay, now I just want to show you we're in a fairly remote rural area. Maybe we can just look around and see that this is a fairly safe place to hunt. Okay. Now, you remember earlier I said you want to blend into the environment as well as not bring any suspicion to your neighbors or anyone that hunting's going on. So what I've done, excuse me, thank you. What I have done is camouflage myself with environmentally blended material in the wood setting. Now I've been here since 4 a.m. trying to find the perfect location to set up my shot. We'll discuss the shooting later on, but right now we want to remember the safety is always paramount when hunting for yourself and your others. Now this can't even be expressed enough during residential hunting because there's so many things that could go wrong, you can imagine. Now, that brings, excuse me there, this is my hunting dog, Wrigley, who's in training right now. Now, uh, pardon me, you just move on. Now, this brings me to, which you probably didn't even see me until I popped my head out. Select a hidden position, but, now what's that butt gonna say? identify yourself to other hunters. You don't want to be shocked, okay? So we're gonna stop here and I'm gonna put my identification marker on and this is my kind of signature. I've never been shot. Uh, I think it works, it's unique, it's, it's, uh, it's special to me. My grandfather taught it to me, so uh, we'll do that now.
see, now if you're another hunter, you probably at first saw, oh, movement. There could be something to shoot. But then this is going to identify yourself as another hunter. This is important because once they see this hat and this cone, they know you're a brother and you won't be shot. Now we're gonna go and set up to find the goose we're gonna bring home for soup and a nice meal. Party. Now what's happened here is we've moved our location. We have found a whole flock of Canada geese over here on Mrs. O'Leary's house. Now she's deaf as a doorknob, so I like to hunt down here, but she doesn't call the police. Now, it's important what gun you're going to use from this range, the size of the animal or the fowl you'll be shooting. Now I always tend to go back to my my favorite first gun that I was given when I was just two. My family's hunted for generations. We start our kids young. My boy, uh, he had start, six months, I had a gun in his hand. So I'm gonna take out my old Betsy, old Daniel Boone used to have a name. Now old Betsy, you gotta be careful now. You got your dogs, you got your neighbors right up here. You don't want any misfires or anything like that. I'm gonna take aim with my gun. I'm gonna release the safety. Once I'm set up, take aim, and then I'm going to discharge, and I'm going to hit a goose and bring it home. That's what it's all about. It's about being out here in nature without even really having to leave home, because I can walk home and get a hot chocolate right now. So that's the beauty of, once again, residential hunting. I mean, it's so damn convenient, I don't know why more people aren't doing it. But anyway, that's another story. So right now, watch me as I take aim. Now it's gonna look like a random just blowing in the sky, but it's not. I got my eye on one goose. Now that's between him and me. Now before I kill a defenseless bird who has no idea that I'm gonna kill him, I like to think that I'm doing something good. Good for nature, keeping a balance of things, and good for me, because I like killing things. So it's a good win-win every way. So let's, uh, let's take a moment, watch me set up, and let's kill us a goose, okay? This is a good gun safety. I don't care if you're in the country or residential hunting, gun safety is important. Now what we had was a misfire. Now it wasn't my fault. Oh God, it hurts. Uh, what we had was I, I picked my gun up and, and the damn thing went off. That's what happened. I mean, damn. Uh, I guess a few of the geese flew off, but I, I think what we're gonna have to do, and another reason residential hunting is so damn convenient, is I'm gonna be able to walk or hop back to my house, get in my car and drive myself to the hospital. This you couldn't do out in the country. So we're gonna cut this off a little short. We didn't get a goose today, but we'll be back. Uh, right now I'm losing some blood. I'm feeling faint. And uh, I got a good old two block, maybe oh, 150, 200 yards to hop back home. Uh, I'm gonna sign off now and Okay, cut that damn thing off. Let's get me 